the quarry. Quarry refers to as cut rock, granite rock. We have plenty of granite rock. The quarry is located roughly there, across the harbor. Mm -hmm. And back in 1887, in the Evangeline newspaper, it says that Honoré and Sylvain Divider was awarded the contract to bring granite for the new church in Yarmouth. That was the basement of the cathedral. The rock from the cathedral comes from there. The basement in Metagan, Selimaris Church, the one that's no longer there, the basement rocks came from the quarry. Church in Wedgeford, one in Pubnico, Boston Marine Company in town where the YMCA is now. When it was there, that rock was cut, all cut from the quarry in Camosa Hill. And there's a few other places. Uh, this was back in the 1880s, 1890s, and there was a, a lot of people from both areas working there, Westport and Camos Hill. Uh, some of the names from Westport, in, just in reference, in case there's somebody here that's related, uh, Francois Leblanc, he was a blacksmith. He had to make all the hard, all the steel, the metal work. His shop now, his blacksmith shop, is at Grand Pre. Mm -hmm. He's he's the one that used to have the that well the that blacksmith shop. That was the man. Uh, other people were Marcel Cotrol, a Fulgence, Ambroise Cotrol a Leon, and Nelson Boudreau a Remy. Now the only man that we know of that died because of an incident that occurred there was Remy Boudreau, he got hit in the stomach or somewhere uh, with a metal nail or something and he died of internal injury several days later. But there was also many other injuries, usually to, to, to make a hole in the rock you have to have a hammer and drill and you have to hit. Uh, my uncle Paul, he would have been uh, <coughs> son of the first, son of the first jacker. No put. He lost his hand. The doctor apparently cut it off on the table. It was all smashed. And they called it the Munyang No Paul. Okay? And uh, everybody used to call him Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul. He says, My God, he says, the story goes oral tradition again. He says, I'm not everybody's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, basically, how, how you cut a rock is you drill a series of holes after you've discovered uh, the vein and how it runs and how big you want the rock, you drill these holes so far, you put two pieces of steel in each side and a wedge in the middle, and then you start tapping the wedge. And it goes ding, 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 and all of a sudden it's, you do that several times more and all of a sudden it starts going doink, 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 and all of a sudden the rock breaks in half. And then you recut it and whatnot. Uh, but the Pache Wharf at the Cape in Westport, they probably all the, all those rocks, they all came from there, I imagine. I'm right? sure. Yeah, I'm sure. It's quite something to see at the Cape, you know, the walls. and yeah, the Yes, rock. and there's the, the wharf down home, the breakwater. Those are all cut rocks, either from locally, because they're easier to transport if they're close, and we have rocks everywhere. They don't, they don't necessarily have to have originated from the quarry, but... Everybody seemed to have been quite smart at cutting rock around here. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of it to, to play with. Uh, the rock that's still there, I went a few years back and I measured it. It's 45 feet long, 30 feet high, and 75% of it is already out, gone. The hole is there. Is that the one that's taken real? It's in the woods. It's quite, a, it's quite a ways in the woods. Coming from, like, you know where the path from my house is. Yeah. Well, going straight down a little more and they turn the bridge like this. There's one, it's humongous, and it's pleading too. This one here is pretty well in the could, woods underground. You could you repeat really what she said? Huh? Repeat what it, it, It's basically, the, she's trying to identify, there's one that she's aware of that's a huge 
rock. It's, it's, you would have had to have walked down to the shore yeah. to see it. This one here. Oh. It's right at the quarry. Mm, this one is so wide. Yeah. Because, and they're just sick in it because they get stuck in it. Right. <laughs> they get stuck in it. The re the, the, they cut these rocks. Some of them are on the shore. They're still visible. They're beautiful square cut rocks. Uh, if I had had uh, more knowledge of electronics, I would have had photographs. But out in the water, there's a huge rock with a dead man, which is a piece of steel with an eye hook. Yeah. And there's one over on the land. And they used this in a way with pulleys and tackles and sleds. They put a rock on a the sled. They had the ox go that way. It pulled against the pulley over out in the water and pulled the rock out there. And some of the ways, uh, can you imagine a rock this size, <coughs> that high off the ground, is very heavy. So instead of trying to lift this whole rock and put it on top, they had a system where they tied it from underneath. So here's your shot at with wheels, and they just had to lift it a couple inches to get something underneath that side and that side, and then hoist it, and then off you go. They carried it under the belly of a cart instead of on top of it. Okay. All right, anything else? Do you have any comments or questions, or do you have any stories to tell? Excuse me. Again. Oh, go right ahead. Could you explain again where the quarry is? The quarry Very is. Well. Okay. Uh, if you take uh, the next road up the up the going that way, uh, the Schmeidusa, where the old schooner seafood or, okay? Mm -hmm. If you stand on top of that hill or you drive down to there, if you look directly across, if you had a binocular, you can see the rocks on the shoreline. Mm -hmm. okay. So can you get here from? Only by boat. Okay. Oh, I think. Or if you're uh, so inclined to walk two and a half miles along the shoreline, uh -huh. or or maybe only one from the Wedgeport side, okay. you will find it and get it there. Yeah. So you can go from the Wedgeport side. You can. You, you, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. You just follow the shoreline. Yeah. You will come to it. You will not miss it. Because we there was a path on the Black Pond Road that we used to take across and come out to a marsh at the end of the. The river there behind Wedgeport. Yes. So would you it would have been close, but it wouldn't have been there yet. But you, and then you walk the shore from there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or or let's say if you take behind the church or or where the the, the school the school is yes. or the post office is, the Schmidt <laughs> you take down there, you cross, and you take the shoreline there, and you go along. That's where I'm talking about. When we yes. take that other path, we'd be right across. Yeah. You you will reach it now. 